Hi, my name is George Farrell and today I'll be demonstrating how to assign multiple material schedules and profiles to doors using the new filtering utility in Cabinet Vision 2021. For this new release, alongside the redesigned door database, the development team has introduced enhanced functionality and new features within the door database in Cabinet Vision 2021, such as the features I will be demonstrating today. If we go to our door catalog here, you'll see our new door manager interface. This will look familiar to those of you who have used Cabinet Vision 9 and above in material database. You'll see similar buttons across the top as well as our um, categories on the left hand side and our doors. If we go to the utilities toolbar at the, at the ribbon bar in the top of the door manager, you will see a few new buttons here, such as the Assign Materials and Assign Profiles button. If we click on Assign Materials here, we get a new dialog box that will pop up. You will see on the left hand side there is a list of material schedules for doors, and on the right hand side we have door catalogues. If we go and select our normal door database catalog, which is the one that you'll see in the, in the dialog box behind, you'll see all of our different categories of doors. If we further expand this, you'll see each type of door that we provide in our standard door database in Cabinet Vision 2021. If we look on the left hand side, we will select a material schedule or two and then what we will be doing is assigning it to a particular type of door. Now for today's exercise I'll be using the slab door and I will be assigning some simple MDF and color panel material schedules. Now if we click first click on our MRMDF 25 MRMDF just make sure we've got them all here. 32 MRMDF. And scroll down to our CP1. We'll do 16 and 18 in CP1. And CPGR1, which is our grain material schedule for doors in, in 16 and 18 mil. We will also select MDF 16 mil and 18 mil no edge, as, as well as our HMR black and white. What we'll then do is we'll come over to the right hand side and then what we'll do is we'll click on the slab, click apply and it will come up with a query that existing material filters will be overwritten. Do you want to continue? We will be clicking yes and then we will click exit. What we'll do now is we'll go to the slab door, double click on it here, go to our material filter, and we will see all the materials that we have selected are now on our door. We can click close and OK. And what I'm going to go do is go back to our assign profiles utility. This will bring up a near identical dialog box which we will then select our profile type. We've got our finger pulls, inside edge, outside edge, raise panel and route. We have exactly the same interface on the right hand side with our type of door. And what I'll be doing is I'll just be selecting a simple route. I will be just clicking on one of these pockets and we'll click this 5mm large. Click our slab door click apply, it will come up with the same query and we will click yes. After that is done we will click exit, go back in, click on our door properties or our slab door, go to our profile filter, go down to our route, then we will see our 11 degree 5 mil large is now applied click close and then we can go to our defaults and then click our route path. Once this is done I'll click OK, click 
click yes. Return out of the door manager. Thank you for watching my short video today. I look forward to seeing how you use these new filters and utilities in Cabinet Vision 2021.